Welcome back. Uh, the nation's eyes are on Florida as Hurricane Ian makes landfall. Meteorologist Scott Munt has a look. The big weather story is Hurricane Ian as it continues to move through Florida. Heavy rain and strong wind battered Florida today, and this will be the case during the overnight and into tomorrow. Many people in its path have left, but there are some that have remained to battle the strong wind and the heavy rain. Here's what's expected over the next couple of days. Hurricane Ian will dump around 9 to 12 inches of rain near Sarasota to Daytona Beach. Areas surrounding that in blue will receive amounts of 4 to 8. Before landfall, winds have been measured over 150 miles per hour. As it continues to make landfall, winds of 90 miles per hour and more can be expected inland. Ian will eventually move off the eastern coast of Florida through Thursday afternoon, but it's expected to make a turn back inland and run through the Carolinas on Friday. By then, it's expected to be more of a tropical storm than a hurricane, but still able to drop rain amounts of at least four to six inches. As Hurricane Ian continues to move toward New England, that will help our stalled weather pattern here in Kettleland. So expect some changes late next week. For Kettleland Weather, I'm meteorologist Scott Munt. Uh,